Today, our Dr. John LaPook spoke at a global health conference in Houston, warning about the growing threat of Zika virus in the U.S. He also checked in with the troops on the front line. A team of mosquito hunters has set traps throughout Houston neighborhoods. They take them back to a lab where they freeze the insects, sort them, and grind them up for testing, looking for viruses like West Nile, dengue. And if you guys will follow me in here, I'll show you. And now, Zika. So far, there's no evidence mosquitoes in the United States are infected with Zika virus. But scientists say it's almost inevitable. The flooding in Houston this past week means an explosion of potential breeding sites. It just rained a couple of hours ago, and I can see there are some puddles of water inside the tires there. John, this is 80s Egypti heaven right here. Infectious diseases expert Dr. Peter Hotez says protecting vulnerable neighborhoods is critical for disease prevention. For Aedes aegypti, they're so intimately linked with human habitats that they've evolved to breed in tires and in plastic containers, and those are what have to be removed. So the three Ds are to drain, dress, and deet. Dr. David Peirce directs the city of Houston's disease prevention services. Uh, the one misconception that I'm hearing is that it's, it's not really, you know, it's not going to be a problem. But certainly for the families of the children who are born with microcephaly, it's going to be devastating. The sentiment at today's conference was there simply are not enough resources to fight Zika in the United States adequately. And Scott, this is especially troubling given that mosquito season is just around the corner. Dr. John LaPook in Houston tonight. John, thank you.